just pour some water. Got this on sale, some smart water. I really, it's real refreshing. I don't know if there's a difference in the taste of this tap water. Um, whatever. All these different types of water. But I do like this. It's, it is like a really, it has a really crisp taste. I am getting back on my health kick, so to speak. I take care, as you see here, of the outside and I have to get back on my routine of taking care of the inside. So lemon water, which I usually drink a big glass of it as soon as I hit the floor in the morning. I'm having some now. It's a little hot, a little stuffy in here. Um, I'm in my private space, which I'll take you guys on a tour when I get a better camera. Because this camera and the lighting is horrible. The sun is going down. I'm losing light, so I have my indoor background lighting that I have to set up, my trick lighting, and hopefully it works. But the ultimate goal is to talk to you about my, my lotion addiction. Let me take a sip of water. I first want to say that closed hands that don't give, don't receive. And so I try to help others as much as possible and support organizations that support people who cannot do things for themselves, maybe if they're disabled, who are um, maybe underprivileged, they need us. I am not rich by any stretch of the imagination, um, but if I can share, no matter what it is, I am willing to do so. So in saying that, I support and belong to several organizations that help others and um, they have raffles and I give ten dollars, five dollars, whatever. Never do it with the intention to win anything. I do it with the intention to help someone because in that I will receive my blessing to help others. But this time I won something. Last week I supported an organization wrote out a check for about $15 to a raffle. Did not expect to hear my name called. I was having fun at the event and they called my name and I got an iPad. So there it is. Now let's talk about my lotion addiction. I'm addicted to lotion. I have mature skin. My skin is just like everyone else's. It goes through changes but overall it's pretty healthy. I never had a huge amount of teenage acne, just that monthly outbreak that, I, that would occur. I am highly allergic of, to um, different types of weeds. Can't pinpoint them. You know, everyone's allergic to poison ivy. I mean, you don't want to get in that. But in my yard, there's different types of weeds. I don't know what they are, but um, last year I was gardening and cleaning out the flower bed and this happened. This was a rash that occurred, and I do have medication from the dermatologist that I, it was so bad I actually had to see a dermatologist. And now, as it healed, it's dark, and we have to go through the lightening process to bring back the natural color. I also have a spot on my leg. As soon as whatever it was brushed against me, I was on fire. So be careful this summer. When you're out in the parks and you're out in the yard and you come across a bunch of weeds or something you're not familiar with, as well as your children, keep them away. So, I'm work, while I'm working on that, I'm, gonna, I'm still maintaining my usual routine. I love fragrant lotions, natural lotions. I'll buy the inexpensive lotions, two for six, as I showed you the other day, the Queen Helene soy and cocoa. It's really nice. It's pretty thick, but it doesn't have enough oils in it for me. So, I took a bottle, another big bottle of lotion that I purchased over in the city. It was nearly empty. Smells really, it has a really clean, crisp fragrance. That's what made me buy it. And it's pretty good. I mean, it's um for those days when you don't want to put on a lot of heavy lotion. Um, and you're not feeling extra dry and you want a nice fragrant fragrance. It was it's nice. So I'm not gonna go because I'm where I purchased this, I don't you may see it around. If so, you may want to try it out. Anyway, 
I poured the other bottle in here, put some almond oil and some olive oil and shook it up. I may have put a few other things and I got a nice lotion there. Okay? So you can try that if you choose to doctor up as I call it. I call it doctoring up something. Making, taking, taking something and making it better or making it to your liking. I got a bunch of St. Ives stuff. I buy these to throw in my handbag to keep around the house. Um, I like St. Ives. This one is the Collagen Elastin. I don't know if it does anything. It's supposed to make your skin look younger. Once again, I have pretty healthy skin, so it may be working. All of this stuff combined may be working. Um, um, like I said, I'm, I try to be as healthy as possible um, on the outside and on the inside, but whatever the case may be. I like St. Ives. I get it on sale. It's cheap. If I have a coupon, I use a coupon. It's always on sale at Walgreens, CVS, wherever. Another big bottle of lotion. It's the Pump Pumpkin Spice Hand and Body Lotion. So this is on the fragrant side. Plus it's nice and thick. It, it's nice lotion. It has vitamin E and cocoa butter. So I got this, believe it or not, at Home Goods. $7.99. This I enjoy in the fall because of the fragrance. I like the way it smells. I like that spiciness. And if I um, have like a body spray from Bath and Body Works, I can layer it and give it gives a nice fragrance. Every, you walk in the room, everyone says, oh, you smell nice. So layering is really nice. If you can get a lotion and a body spray that match and you don't want to just do cologne and you want a nice fresh it just it seems that layering well for me it works um, while I'm showing you stuff that that's fragrant remove some of these things it's my bath and body works green tea I probably have used all of these one time or the other I'm sick of one fragrance, I go to the next one. What's going on with my camera? I guess it's adjusting. And here's another green tea. Um, that is um, exotic coconut. Ooh, the lighting is wacky. And sensual amber. Vanilla noir. That's it. So, while I'm sure, oh, here's one more Bath and Body Works. This is an oldie but goodie. I got this probably on a table when they had a sale there. It's a colada, pina colada, shimmer body lotion, and it shimmers. Got this in the mail the other day. Check it out, ladies. It's that time. Starts June 11th, so it started.